have the template here and I want to draw some more lights further over. These are all 18 inches apart, which means the two of them are three feet apart. And this one over here would be foot and a half, three feet, four and a half, six feet. If I want to put one over six feet over, I can put this unit here, but this is not the symbol I want. So another way of measuring is to turn the template over. Because now I can measure in this way. This unit here is the unit that is six feet away from the one I want to draw. And now I can draw this one along this pipe. So I take my pencil. I'm going to draw another unit using this hole. And I'm going to draw another unit next to it, but this time I'm going to make this next unit a backlight. And I'm going to use a PAR unit. This is the symbol for the PAR. I'm going to bring my parallel ruler up here so I can line up my units to my pipe over here. I've got my unit there. Put this 18 inches away from that one and draw this PAR unit. There we go, just like so. Line this one up like so. And I'll put one right about here. So that's 18 inches over from that one. Center it there. Here's the unit. I want to show you a way to make different symbols. We've already done the 50 degree, which was the triangle here. Now I want to do this diagonal right there. We're going to make this a 26 degree. And if we look at our template, we don't really have anything that will work well with an angle. So we can use our triangle to make that angle. Goes up to the left. We don't have to be exact. We bring our triangle like that and draw our diagonal line. And we do it on this one and draw our diagonal line. Now in this one here, let's say we want to make it a 19 degree instead of a 26 degree. We flip the triangle over and put the other line to make the X. Just like that. After we're done with that, we bring our parallel rule up to where the lights, to where the pipe is, and add the pipe. Just like so.